Yeah. Welcome, guys. Thursday night, Shredders Unite business call. Um, kind of running a few different things. We kind of have a, um, my main Melanie is busy with her parents. And so she's going to be on here so shortly. But I know that she's not going to be able to be my co-host. There she is. Anyhow, I wanted to uh, make sure we're streaming on Facebook. We are. Welcome, everybody. I'm super excited. So glad that you joined us on this Thursday summer night and uh, on your busy days. This is going to be a great call and on many different levels. So number one, we start last week, we were talking about inspiration and I was talking about how, you know, I'm always trying to figure out how do you motivate your team? How do I get people to get excited and how do I get them to take action? And the, the, the reality of all that is that it really comes down to that individual. It has to be from within. We talk about being inspired, basically in spirit. This is something that obviously you have to find what, what your why is, what drives you, what excites you. Um, obviously, we can use some outside motivations. We can use music to get amped up. We can go to a Tony Robbins event. We can do a number of things to get us excited. But longer term, though, it's really going to be dependent upon us and where is our mindset. So tonight, the idea was, hey, we'll do mindset. But the little background on this. Um, last week, Allison was involved doing her five-day challenge for a women. She's a, she's a coach for women entrepreneurs, and she's in the middle of her challenge, and there happened to be some isogenic people that were on the call, and she was invited to do the mindset piece for a team call out on the East Coast, and I was lucky enough to hear it. I thought, damn, that's actually quite good. I go, I need to have her on our call because um, it gets boring for me sometimes or whatever. I mean, for you to listen to the same person or you feel like you're lecturing or teaching, but this was such a valuable piece of information and the feedback was so good. I thought, why not? We need this in our ER shred group. So I wanted to start it with this one thought. Most of you that are in here have had an ER shred experience. You've come alive as, you know, Jesse and, and, and Sean has said, you know, stated, um, you know, we come alive, we feel different. We heal our body from the inside out. That's the coolest thing, even from our fulfillment company from years past, we did that. I do strongly believe that with the elimination reset component, we've taken this to a whole nother level. And based on results, it's unquestionable. I mean, it just literally blows my mind. Doesn't matter the age group, the gender, um, if you're active, not active, et cetera, the results we're getting are just jaw dropping. The good news is, is that we wake up and mentally we're excited. We feel better. We're happier. All aspects of our life improve. And I really feel, ex I, I'm not even the feedback. But I'm super excited from the aspect of we have this change in our mindset in terms of how we feel internally. How do we take to the next level and how do we share that with others? And I'm getting some feedback, but without further ado, I'm going to introduce my wonderful wife, Allison, Allie Sivright. She changed her name back to Allie. That's what she was known as in college because Sivright is a mouthful. So I kind of feel bad for her on that aspect. But Allison has been amazing and she's been in isogenics for um, nine years. She's an isogenics millionaire along with me and she has had great success at building network marketing teams, but she's also been coaching women for over 20 years in the aspects of being an entrepreneur. She's been an esthetician. She's done a lot of things. She's a Reiki master teacher. She even certified me, which I think I can do Reiki on the dog. Um, but no, Reiki is a very cool um, modality. I mean, that, it's amazing how well it's worked. But anyway, without further ado, Allie, I'm gonna hand it over to you and I'm gonna put myself on you. Wow, <laughs> thank you. Are you getting feedback or are you okay? You good? Okay, awesome. So yeah, I'm super excited to be here today and share with you guys. Um, you know, as Bob said, I was doing this training this week and um, 
somebody asked me to come onto their call and share some of this with you. Um, I was lucky enough to um, do a similar training at our Chicago Super Saturday right before the pandemic hit. Uh, Bob and I both spoke there and we had so much fun doing this. So um, I'm going to bring to you some concepts that are not taught in traditional business, but um, I really believe make all the difference in the world. I've been a heart-led entrepreneur for 21 years. I've built multiple businesses in pretty much every sector of wellness. And um, I've just always woven in these different concepts. And so I'm hoping to just shed some light, give you a new perspective, give you something to think about um, as you are building your business. So today we're gonna to talk about what I have found to be what I call the secret sauce to attracting abundance into your business or what I call the manifestation equation. And these same principles that we're talking about today in regards to our business also apply to really all forms of abundance. So anything you're trying to manifest, whether it's in your business, your health, your relationships, or really any category in your business. And at the end, we're going to do a soulmate client meditation. Okay. Um, and it's a really, really powerful exercise. So I hope that you will um, stay with me for that. Okay. And so because we're not doing the typical tools and templates and social media strategy and private message strategy and things like that, we're, you know, we're, we're looking at this from a new perspective. And so I just ask you to bring an open mind, bring an open heart as always. Right. And so what I've learned as someone who has studied manifestation and taught it for many years is that there is an equation when it comes to abundance. And here's the equation. You have your mindset, which is made up of your beliefs and your thoughts and your attitude You have and, and your vision. You have your energy, which is made up of your emotions, your feeling states, your intention, really your vibration. You have a strategy, right? And I like to refer to it as a soul aligned strategy, just meaning that it's authentic. It's in alignment with your core beliefs. And then you have to take action or what I like to say, inspired action, because we don't want to just take action from a space of I have to or I really should do this thing. Um, you want to really be pulled by your vision and inspired into action, right? And those four components equal the results that you have right now. Okay. Now, most people if they're not seeing the results in their business that they want to see, assume that it's the strategy. Like I need, you know, a new way of approaching the situation, a new template, or maybe I, you know, I'm saying the wrong thing or whatever it may be. And obviously having a strategy is important, right? And then taking action on that strategy is important, but it's the energy in which you take that action and your mindset as you go to take that action that are ultimately going to accelerate really any action that you're taking, okay? And so what do I mean by that? If I'm taking action in my business, I'm sharing my story, right? I'm talking about our products from a place of excitement and inspiration. That is going to make me magnetic to those that I'm meant to serve. And on the flip side, if I'm taking action from a place of uncertainty or lacking in belief in myself or my products or even the opportunity or the company that we're with, then that is going to be felt by the person who I'm talking to and my results are going to be a reflection of that. So I want to talk today, I want to really key in today on the energetic aspects of your business, which isn't something typically taught in traditional business, but I think makes all the difference in the world. Okay. And one of the most important concepts to understand in creating success in your business is that everything in the universe is made up of energy. All of our cells are made of energy that are constantly knocking into each other to create a vibration or a charge. All of our thoughts, our emotions, our beliefs, our experiences, our actions have an energetic frequency that can now be measured by science. And you know, when you take an EKG, for example, they're measuring the energy of your heart, okay? 
And if you think about physics class, learning about the atoms and the neutrons and the protons and the electrons, everything science tells us in the universe can be broken down to its energetic form, which is its vibration or its frequency. And so if you even think about your relationships, they have an energy. The quality of your health has an energy, especially if you are using our amazing nutritionally dense products, right? You can feel that. You can feel the difference when you're putting those products in your body versus when you're not. And, you know, in, in the ER Shred community, we refer to that as coming alive. That's literally what we're doing, right? And so everything and everyone around you, nature, animals, all made up of energy that connects us to each other, okay? And although modern science can now confirm that we're made of energy, cultures around the world have known this for thousands of years, that there was this powerful essence within us and all around us. And some of you maybe are familiar with the terms ki or chi or even prana in Chinese and Ayurvedic medicine, or maybe you've learned about it in a yoga class, which is that subtle and powerful energy around us and within us. And so what we know from the laws of physics is that the vibration or the frequency that you resonate in will attract people in situations or experiences to match that frequency, okay? And if you think about how, you know, certain people um, that are similar are drawn to each other, like this, this group, right? This ear shred group. Third, what are we at? 25,000 like-minded people on a mission, all putting high vibrating foods, real foods into their body. Your cells are vibrating at a higher frequency when you're putting these quality foods and quality supplements into your body. And you can, you can feel the energy. It's palpable in the group as people are starting to change and transform and feel better, look better, and their thoughts are changing and, and their emotional states are changing. You can see how this happens. And so we're constantly exchanging energy with our friends and our family, our partners, strangers, and even our potential clients, okay? So how does this apply to our business? Um, and so you may be familiar with, you know, or you may have even said, like, I like that person's vibe, or I like the vibe of that restaurant, or I don't like the vibration, I don't like the vibe, I don't like the energy, right? And so your potential clients are reading your energy and deciding whether or not they feel connected to you, whether or not they trust you, and ultimately whether or not they want to work with you from the moment that they enter your world in person or on social media. And, you know, nowadays, there's a lot, there's a lack of trust a lot of times on social media because there is a lot of spammy marketing, right? Um, there is a lot of like cold salesy techniques that people are taught that are really a turnoff. And so it's, it's more important than ever that we gain the trust of the people that we're talking to about our program, right? And so we know that 80% of communication is nonverbal. So it's not so much about what you're saying, it's how do you make somebody feel, okay? And this begins as you're building your business on social media, this begins with your social media. How are you showing up? Are you posting about things that are positive or are you focusing on the problems in the world, which there's of course no shortage of, right? And so are you creating an environment of trust by sharing that you understand your potential client's struggles and where they're at right now? Um, are you relatable or are you just showing kind of the after pictures or sort of where you are now? Are you willing to open up and really share the journey with them in that, you know, you understand where they are right now because you've been there before or somebody you've worked with has been there before, right? And then how are you showing up when you go to talk about your product, um, are you showing up from the energy of confidence and certainty around what you're sharing? Because people are watching you and they want to work with people who give them that certainty and they want to know that you are the right person, right? And so, you know, a lot of times we see people on social media and they're, they're selling things that we know 
like are maybe full of garbage, <laughs> okay? Or maybe have ingredients that are not good for them or maybe just don't work, right? But they're having a lot of success. And you're like, how is that even happening, right? Well, their posture around what they're doing, their confidence and their certainty around what they're doing is what is driving that because they are magnetic to people, okay? And so I want you to re really kind of think about the energy behind what it is that you're doing. Something that's important to take note of is that your business is an energy. It's an extension of you. And the results that you're seeing in your business are a manifestation of both your inner and your outer world, okay? So your results are a reflection of whether or not you are thinking, feeling, acting, embodying the energy of abundance in combination with, of course, like we talked about having a strategy for building your business that's not only effective, but feels authentic to you and taking that action, okay? You are the lifeblood, the heart and the soul of your business. And it can really only grow to the extent that you grow. And that's why, you know, I love that with the calls that Bob does every week, he always makes sure to really talk about that aspect of things, to make sure that that is a part of it, the mindset piece, your belief system and how you are approaching it from a service-based space when you go out and share, because you know, that personal development, that spiritual development goes hand in hand. And as you're growing as a person, and as you are growing your, your mindset, and you are upgrading your belief system, you can step into a new level of success in your business. Okay. So when we're connected to our life purpose, and so many of us here are, right? And we're, we're offering our services from that place of alignment with our core values. And what's exciting to us right now, everything starts to shift, okay? And when we're approaching our business with that open, expansive energy, rather than one that is fear-based or based in obligation or expectation or hustle, or I should be doing this, you know, or feeling fear that I'm going to be judged. So I hold myself and I don't put myself out there. But when I'm really connected to the bigger vision and the bigger purpose of why I was put here on this planet, which is to make an impact because we're all put here on this planet to make an impact in some way. Okay. And when we can really get connected to that and get a hold of that, then we can just get out of our way and then we don't we don't have all the fears of the judgment and everything because we're we're tapped into something bigger than ourselves bigger than just the excuses that our mind gives us to keep us stuck and to keep us safe okay and that's a topic for another day right so there was a study done in japan with uh dr emoto is his name and he took two groups of monks one group of monks uh basically meditated over water with really positive uh, intentions, high vibrating states, high vibrating um, emotional states like love and gratitude and kindness and joy. And they played music even that was like classical, beautiful music. And then they had another set of monks that basically meditated over the water um, with hate and anger and jealousy and shame and guilt and really chaotic music. And, you know, our body is made up of about 80% water. And so they wanted to see what happened to that water when it's exposed to these energetic states. And so they froze the water and the water that had been um, meditated over in the high vibrating states came out like beautiful. It was like crystals and um, it looked like snowflakes. And you can even see pictures of the of it. It's really cool. Dr. Emoto in Japan. And then the monks who meditated over the water um, in anger and fear and hate and jealousy, it was really chaotic. It would, The water was like cloudy and had all kinds of like uneven lines and just was not very pretty. Okay. And so 
basically what this shows us, this is just another study that shows this to us, but our energetic state or frequency is going to create our reality. Okay. It's going to attract people in situations to yourself that match that energetic frequency or that state that you're in. Okay. So let's say that I'm someone who wants to attract clients who are focused on their goals, willing to invest money in themselves, like ready to take action, right? How nice would that be? Um, however, I'm not embodying those characteristics. Okay. I get easily distracted. I'm not prioritizing myself or my growth. I'm not super committed. I'm not taking the action needed to build my business. Maybe I'm taking my foot off the gas because it's summertime, right? then I'm likely going to attract people into my world, clients or teammates who are doing the same thing if you, you are building a business, okay? And I may hear the money objection a lot from potential clients and attract people who don't value my services um, if I'm not valuing my services, if I don't, if I'm not truly connected to the value of what it is that I'm offering, or if my confidence level around my product or my service is, you know, not, is lacking, right? Um, or if I have, you know, an uncomfortable feeling around selling and money and asking for money. Well, again, if we look at selling really as serving, if we look at the quote, sale, <laughs> I'm putting it in, in quotes, because I like to see it as the invitation into transformation. It is only through that energy exchange of money that I can actually start to impact that person and I can take them into transformation. So I don't see that as like a gross or uncomfortable thing. I see that as like an incredible thing because it allows me to do my life's work. Okay, but if I have these weird feelings and I'm creating a story around what that means and what that is, then my energy is going to translate into that. And then I'm going to attract people who don't want to pay for my services, right? Or don't value what it is that I'm doing if I'm not valuing it. Okay. Is this resonating for you guys? <laughs> and feel free. In the chat, I'm just going to pop into the chat right here. Uh, feel free in the chat to just like, if you have any questions or anything like that, um, Mimi says, such valuable information for me personally, amazing. Ruby has been raw and sharing some struggles and not sounding confident. Yeah, 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 raw definitely has merit, exactly. Um, okay, let's see. And then I'm going to actually, let's see. I can, I can see the chat here. I'm not sure if I can, but, uh, but that's okay. Anybody who's watching this on the Facebook Live can just comment or tag me, and I can go back and and uh, and chat with you guys as well. So, our external world is mirroring our internal world. Okay, if my internal state is one of overwhelm and chaos and fear and doubt then I am going to be an energetic match for more experiences and results that keep me in that state of overwhelm and fear and chaos and doubt, okay? If I am conscious and intentional about working on my internal state and choosing to put myself in situations and surround myself with people and experiences that put me in a state of joy and gratitude and excitement, for instance, those higher vibrating states, then I'm tuning my frequency to attract more situations to be joyous and grateful for, okay? And I, I do want to say this because, you know, every time I talk about this, I feel like I, I need to clarify that this isn't about just like walking around and being in this like joyous state all the time and never having a care in the world and never getting angry and every, no, that's not what we're talking about here, okay? Okay. All of the emotions are normal and healthy, and they're all part of the human experience, right? And actually, when we don't feel the lower vibrations, they get stuck in our energy field too, and they, they actually have a, a tighter hold on, on us, but that's for another story. So this isn't about just like feeling bad that you're having a bad day or frustrated or angry or whatever it may be. 
you want to feel that emotion, but then what can you do to shift into um, a different state? You know, is it, do you need to throw on some music? Do you need to, to shake it out? Do you need to move it out? Do you need to write about it? Do you need to look at it from a new perspective? Can you look at it from this perspective of what can I learn from this experience? How can I actually be grateful for this crappy experience that I'm having right now? Because what is it teaching me, right? So how can you shift those states? So we're really talking about how often am I in the energetic states that are lower vibrating versus those higher vibrating states and how quickly can I shift into those higher vibrating states okay I always feel like I need to clarify that so what we know though okay is that where our mind goes energy flows okay and some people like to think of this as you know what you focus on you find and now when you give your mind a target to focus on, it will actively look for the things to bring that vision or that target closer to you. And I, I like to give the example of like, if I'm shopping for a new car and I'm on the website and I'm, and I'm researching it and going to the dealership and I'm getting in the car and I'm picking out the colors. And then I notice that as I'm driving, there's like everybody on the road all of a sudden has that same car. And I'm thinking like, is everybody just out buying Jeeps today? Like, is there a sale? Like, what's the deal? And that's not it. It's just that that is where your mind has been. So you are bringing that experience into your consciousness. Your mind has something called the, the, retic the activating reticular system. Maybe it's the reticular activating system one of those where you are literally your mind is programmed to help you find what it is that you want this is why setting out a super clear vision is the first step right because you got to get your mind on board with where it is that you're going and what it is that you want okay that's part of it and so here's the deal though Okay, you are either intentionally directing your mind and your focus on what you want and then supporting that vision with your beliefs and your actions, or your mind is basically focusing on whatever the default is, uh, that which is the automatic, typically fear-based thoughts. If you're not directing your mind, your mind is basically going in whatever direction that it wants, whatever the default is, okay? So am I, I want you to think about this. Am I focusing on what I have and what I can control in my life and my business or what I don't have and what I can't control, okay? Because ultimately the answer to that question is what is going to dictate the results in my business. Am I focusing on all the issues that I see on my team or in my company or in my industry or with my product or whatever it is? Am I focusing on things that I don't like and things that I can't control, like the college and being out of stock? Or those of you that might remember, like the drought of the e-shots, the drought of the isodolites that year when like we couldn't get isodolites and we were freaking out. And everybody in the company was panicking and there were people who were really angry at the company for not making that product. And so in that situation, there were two different ways that you could look at it. You could look at it as, yeah, this really sucks that we're out of this thing. Or we could look at it as I'm partnered with a company that has a no compromise pro promise and that isn't going to manufacture a product that is less than. We were missing one of the key ingredients. They could have made it without that ingredient, right? And, and made more money probably to do that. But because of that no compromise promise that we have and the integrity of the company that I'm partnered with, they didn't, they didn't just like churn out some crap product. And so you could look at it from that perspective of gratitude. And then the perspective that you bring about that thing is what's going to ripple throughout your team, okay? And so, you know, I bring that up because everything is really going to start and stop with you, okay? Your team or your business, your results are going to mirror your attitude and your actions, okay? I gave the example about the summer. If you're taking your foot off the gas because you're like, it's summer time, I don't need to build my business, then everybody's taking their foot off the gas, 
Okay. And if you want to have a team that's committed and really in it to win it in all seasons and a team that takes responsibility for their own results and doesn't blame, for instance, their lack of results on their upline, isn't enrolling people below me or their downline, isn't doing anything or anything like that, then you have to take responsibility for your results. You have to be committed and in it to win it in all seasons because what you are embodying is what you're going to attract. Okay? Does that, does that make sense? Tracy, it's the reticular activating system. Yeah, I knew I had that backwards. <laughs> okay, but you knew what I meant. Um, okay. Do you guys have any questions about that? Questions, thoughts, comments. Mimi says it makes perfect sense. Awesome. So I'm going to do... Um, do you guys want to do a meditation <laughs> to change your energetic state, get into a meditation to help you energetically attract your ideal clients? Would that, would that be useful for anybody? Okay. I'm going to just pull up some music here. Okay. Can you guys hear that okay? Can you hear that music okay? And can you hear me okay over the music? Okay, perfect. So I want you to just kind of get into a comfy spot. And if you want to go ahead and shut your camera off, I'm going to shut my camera off. So you're welcome to shut yours off as well. Well, let's just take some nice deep cleansing breaths. It's time to relax the monkey mind and let go of all distracting thoughts. Start to become more present in this moment, knowing you have nowhere else to be right now but here. Begin to drop down into your body using your breath as an anchor into the present moment. Letting your body completely relax and let go. And just imagine that you could grow tree roots out the bottoms of your feet, thousands of miles down into the earth's core. Tapping into that vibrant life force energy without the high heat temperatures. And imagine that you could draw that energy up through the bottoms of your feet. And as the energy moves all the way up throughout your body like an elevator going up and up, you feel a sense of peace. You feel grounded and strong in your physical body and in the protection and safety of Mother Earth. Now I want you to imagine a light similar to the light of the sun coming in through the top of your head. And this is a pure, loving, healing, divine light this is the light of the source, creator, however you identify. Maybe it's God, spirit, nature. Imagine the light coming in through the top of your head and you may see it in your mind's eye as white or silver, gold, platinum, sparkling diamonds. Pull the light in through the top of your head and allow it to bathe you in its healing energies. And I want you to notice in your physical body if there are any areas of tightness or tension that you are holding on to. 
any areas of heaviness or darkness that you might be carrying with you. And see if you can breathe into those spaces to make more room for the light to come in. Allow the light to penetrate those areas and release what you are carrying with you that no longer serves. Feel the loving healing energy of the divine and know that your life is being gently guided right now for your highest good. And now I want you to go to your heart center. I want you to connect to your own spirit or essence beyond the physical body. The part of you that feels most connected to your purpose, your path. And I want you to think about the gifts that you offer to others and how your life's experiences, both the struggles and the turning points, have led you to this moment to do your life's work and to the, make the impact you came here to make. I want you to imagine that you could send an intention or a message from your heart to your potential clients, those who need you, people who you've met before, those who you've not met before, that you could send out a message that you know that they have a struggle and you have a solution. An invitation to connect with you. And I want you to imagine that this energy is in a bubble coming out of your heart. Allow the bubble of light to expand bigger and bigger and bigger and brighter so that it can reach those who need you most right now. Know that there are thousands of people right now looking for exactly what you have to offer. Thousands of people feeling anxious, or overwhelmed, lost, confused, maybe even hopeless that are looking for you right now. Use your energy and your heartfelt message to call them in now. And imagine that you are like a giant magnet attracting those who you are meant to serve and repelling those who you are not. What are the qualities of someone you believe to be your soulmate or ideal client? Are they committed, loving, supportive, fun, respectful? What is important to you? Picture your ideal client right now. I want you to fast forward to see how you have had an impact on your ideal client and his or her family. How do they feel now that they've connected with you and you've shown them a new way? What do they look like now? What is the ripple effect on them and their children and their partner and their health? and their emotional well-being now that they have worked with you. I want you to connect to your ideal client's soul and ask, is there anything that they want you to know right now? And now I want you to imagine droves of people just like that person coming to you right now, emailing you, messaging you, wanting to know more information, 
enrolling in your program. What does it feel like knowing that you are making not only the impact, but the income that you deserve to make? And with that income, you can be more, give more, do more. What does abundance feel like, smell like? Does it smell like fresh cash from the ATM machine <laughs> or lotion? suntan lotion on the beach what does it taste like maybe a fine wine or a steak from a fancy restaurant smothered in grass-fed butter <laughs> how do you hold yourself what do you see around you is it the smiling faces of those who you are helping is it your own family and friends enjoying life laughing know that anything that your mind can imagine is possible know that abundance surrounds you always and know that when you are leading from your heart and in a place of service abundance is inevitable and when you're ready, open your eyes. Okay. And if, I don't know if anybody wants to share what that was like or if they heard anything from their soulmate clients, <laughs> any bit of wisdom or um and what that was like and it's okay if you say that was totally weird and out of body and I don't know what that just was that you just took me through Allison <laughs> Mimi couldn't fully participate okay well because you were having technical problems or it was just hard you listen to again to it again okay perfect Tracy said it was great awesome so you know, getting into this type of a state where you are feeling the feelings of what, you know, what it would feel like to connect with your ideal person. Sometimes we don't know where we're we going to find them or, you know, whatever, but energetically just setting that intention that that is what you're looking for. And just reminding yourself about what you're doing and the impact that you're making and the ripple effect that it's having before you go to get on a call with somebody to tell them about what it is that you're doing or whatever it may be. Can you see how changing your state can, can impact how you go then to talk about what it is that you do? Um, and allows you to really connect with that person that you are that you are working with, um, and so that's why I like to to kind of teach people that. Um, Warren, that was a first for me, but I can see where it would be beneficial. Cool, very cool. Um, and yeah, I mean, you guys will, you know, when you have a have a quiet space or whatever, you can certainly go back to that at any time, um, and it it's in the group. Um, Ruby, yes, and that would be a good practice, just like dressing and feeling sharp. Exactly. That's exactly what it's like. Yep. Um, and then just being, you know, being aware of your own energy, like when you're having a crappy day, you know, because like life happens and sometimes we have crappy days, right, um, that have nothing to do with our business, that just life is just throwing us a hard day. That probably isn't the time to be like reaching out and connecting with people and talking about what you're doing, unless you've done something to consciously shift your state, like get like doing a meditation or, um, you know, dancing it out, working it out, whatever it is, you know, to, to release that energy of whatever it is that you're carrying with you from the day. And then the flip side is true. If you're having a great day, you know, and your energy is high and you're feeling good and the sun is out, and you're talking to people and you're connecting with them, you're, you're going to be more likely to make that, that positive connection with somebody when you're coming from that energetic state. So just sort of being aware, you know, of where you are and what are the things that you can do to really 
set the intention for the day. You know, even if it's like a 10, 15 minute thing in the morning, a ritual that you sit with your journal or you sit with your warm cup of coffee or you just sit and listen to some music or whatever it may be, you know, what are you doing to set the tone for the type of day that you're going to have is part of this as well. Bob, did you want to say something? It looked like you were itching to say something. No. Do you want me to come sit by you? Okay. Can you guys hear me? Oops. All these ear speakers, I think. I don't know if they can hear me. Should be good. Can you guys hear me? What are you doing? Uh, um, sound in the basement. Yeah, because it's, it's going to your computer. Can you put your computer on mute? We're on mute. What is going on with my system? I don't know. Here, I'll do it this way. Put one in your ear. Oh wait, you know what? Yeah. Oh, they can? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. That's just weird. I, I can't hear anything. Oh, because they're muted. They're not talking. Oh. <laughs> There's nothing to hear. <laughs> have more energy they're buying you you know your energy ruby they're buying you tracy mimi they're like oh my gosh i just love her you know energy and her <laughs> videos and so on i want to have that um that's pretty much what people are attracted to you but the strength of er shred is our community and i can't emphasize that enough i know jesse says that every single time we've got here are the tracks to run on but the best of the best is we've got a community and people pay a lot of money for accountability in all things from a business standpoint but also from the standpoint of making sure that they follow through and they basically get through their 11-day program or they continue with it or when they're there you know going through some tough times when they fall back into some carbs that may not be serving them but i just want to leave you with that thought is this is all about you. It's your energy. It's your mindset. And when you get right with yourself, everything else should fall in line. And Allison gave us some amazing examples of things that we can do. Everything from journaling to doing meditations. Um, even I, you know, doing yoga is like, is like moving meditation, cycling, moving meditation. Even runners talk about getting a runner high. But take on exercise i mean exercise is the same thing we, we feel good after we work out but do those things that can get you in that peak state that tony robbins talks about or in the book stealing the fire they talk about basically when we get the greatest human performance it's when we're in that peak state and it, you can't be there all the time 
but we can do positive thinking and we can have awareness of when we catch ourselves to slip out of it, either use music or whatever. And the last thing I'll leave you with is they talk about, it was taught to me as they called it the change chart, but the simplicity of it is the higher vibrating energies, gratitude, love, excitement, optimism, you know, you're just, you're, you're at the top of the change chart. You're flying high, right? The lower vibrating energies, you know, jealousy, uh, anger, hate, I mean, all of them, you're in the mud, right? Depression, et cetera. You can't be in both worlds at the same time, if you understand that. So the easy switch is that when you have a something bad news occur, live, you know, sit with it, right, Allison? Mm -hmm. Acknowledge it, but then try to let it go as quickly as possible or do something that will allow you to change your state. Would you, how would you, would you add anything to that? Yeah, no, I mean... You know, obviously, like I talked about, you have to like feel the feeling. Like we don't want to just push it away and pretend that it's not happening. You want to like feel it, let your body process it because it's only through feeling it that you, the energy can actually move through you so that it just doesn't get stuck somewhere and you don't kind of bury it, right? And then it shows up in another form. Um, but like I was saying, you know, how can you look at it from a new perspective? Perspective. How can you look at it from what is this showing me? You know, um, whatever it is that, that's happening. I, you know, are there any gifts that I can actually take from this crappy situation? You know, I always think about like, <laughs> this is a common one, but this is kind of an easy example. Um, you know, I'm sitting on the highway and I'm in bumper to bumper traffic and I'm probably going to be late for my appointment because there's an accident. And I can either be like really in it and frustrated and oh, this sucks and like do that. Or I can be like, I'm grateful that I wasn't in that accident. Like I'm grateful, right? And so there's two totally different ways of looking at that situation. And, um, you know, so I'm always trying to come to it from the, what can I learn? What can I take from this? How can I change my perspective about this situation? What can I be grateful for, even in this crappy situation? You know, um, I remember when my I, my daughter was in a hospital. Um, we were in thanks, Thanksgiving, and it sucked the night of Thanksgiving, and for a bunch of days because um, she had mono, and they thought she had COVID, even though she didn't. But we were in the hospital, and it sucked, and it was Thanksgiving, and you know, obviously, I was focused on that that sucked but then it's like okay how can I look at this from a new new perspective I'm so grateful we got her to the hospital when we did because you know it could have been really bad if we didn't and I was so grateful that the nurse let me because of COVID they don't let you leave the room for days that the nurse let me go downstairs and go to the cafeteria and have like some food you know and so instead of thinking about how it sucked on Thanksgiving that we weren't here where I wanted to be I was so grateful to that nurse and so that you know that's kind of a way to sort of reframe and again we're human we have feelings but like how how much of our state is in those lower vibrating states and how much is in the higher vibrating and that's just it, there's no judgment you know but something that I just teach my um my clients is to just start becoming aware just start noticing it, okay? Because you can't shift it unless you actually notice it. And that's the thing about the mind, like I was saying earlier, it's gonna default to whatever like pattern you're in and whatever habit you're in, whatever you're used to until you become aware. And then once you're aware, that's where your power is because that's when you have the choice to shift that if you wanna shift that, whether that be through reframing it, whether that be through physically moving it out of your body, working out, listening to music, dancing, you know, whatever it may be. Jumping out of planes. Yeah. Jumping out of planes. Yeah, we've had a lot of people on the Facebook Live too. So yeah, shouting great. out to everybody who's watching on the live here as well. So what I'll just end with is, and, uh, this is your business. This is basically your team. Um, I've heard this from a number of leaders and so I can't, I don't know who came up with it first, but 
you know, basically you're the leader, you're the CEO of your own company. You get to set the, you get to set the speed, the method, the mindset. You're all part of ER Shred community. And I would implore all of you to leverage this community. There's nothing better than to invite people in to take a look and just to check it out. And if you're interested, get back with me. But the level of FOMO that must be happening for the people who have not yet started their ER shred, mm -hmm. they must be dying. I mean, they're like, are you kidding me? There's another one. There's another one. In terms of just the amazing transformation, the stories, the shares, people's energy, they show up. That's why Sean is like, come on out and share. We want the new people to come out and share your experience because it's the energetic shift that we see in people. That's what's attractive. And the last thing you could do is as you're journaling, and this was taught, Kirk Metz said this to me, and I know Kathy Helwig was taught this. They're very successful in isogenics, our fulfillment company. And that is, Allison was talking about when you, you know, if you see a car in the road that you like, and the next day all of a sudden you see 10 cars, you're like, where the heck did they come from? It's because your subconscious mind is thinking about it. So what you can do in her meditation, she was saying, think about the characteristics of the individual who's your perfect or ideal client. My suggestion is, is write down on a piece of paper all the things that you like about that individual. Who is your ideal client? You know, are, you know, are they happy, are they outgoing? Are they, you know, uh, a self-starter? Whatever it might be, but make that list and that list of qualities, keep reading it every night. Think about it before you go to bed, meditate on it, but you want to basically in your mindset, start visualizing your team and who that makeup will be. And you'll be surprised. They'll start showing up in your life. Right. And then just looking at that list and making sure that you are embodying those same characteristics and you are showing up to life with those same characteristics. So you can become an energetic match for bringing those people into your uh, world. You got to be congruent. You got to be in alignment. Yep. That's how we do it. And that's, that's exactly it. Look what Sean's done. He called me up and said, trust me, buddy. He said, I'm going to create this thing called ER Shred. You're going to do it with me. And just trust me in the process. The right people will show up. You might alienate a lot of people in the beginning because reading red meat, but you just watch and see based on results, the right people will come to our community. And when you look at across the board, the in, in just looking at the individuals, the brand new people that are joining us, they all have similarities with all of us. It, it's really astounding, but it's obviously, it's a great case study. But we have something so, so special here. You've got Jesse, we've got a product that we know that works. The demographic in terms of who could use our products is everybody. So then it's a process of you identifying with, as Allison said, you know, who are you gonna attract, Bob? Well, it's probably not gonna be the 30 year old housewife or the 35 year old mother that's looking to, to, to whatever, just get some energy back. Um, so I gotta be the best of me, but I gotta also, my message reached my audience. And that's the other thing. That was a great insight from her to point out, you know, stop thinking about the other people other than who are the people that are like you that would like to basically have how you feel. And so that got me thinking, hey, I'm going to get in the best shape to be in by the time I see this is going to be a good deal. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you found value. And uh, Allison, thank you. You're welcome. Um, now you're now you're getting it. You kind of figured out here where I get a lot of my good stuff. <laughs> so um, We work well together. No, we do. But I will say this. I mentioned you write down all the characteristics you want an individual. I did a, I did a thing. Um, they call it a candlelight ceremony. I don't remember, man. But I had to write down what I wanted, like my three wishes. And then in my three wishes, one of them was I was trying to find the ideal you know, person to have a relationship with. So I went a step further and I wrote down all of the characteristics that I wanted in that person. And um, it, it's crazy as all get out, but Allison <laughs> shows up and my world shows up. <laughs> and I was looking for somebody that was spiritual, that was of like mindset, that was very, you know, enjoyed personal development. Um, she's got a psychology background. Anyway, the long and short is, is that I put it on paper, I started visualizing it, I started thinking about it, and this has been, oh gosh, over 10 years almost since I had divorced and not dating anybody really, and all of a sudden, Allison appears, and look what happened. So, um, never say never, 
And I think there's so much to the mindset. Um, it's obviously something that I don't think anybody can, we don't know exactly what occurs, but um, definitely use leveraged positive mental attitude, positive thinking. And uh, thank you. Amazing, you guys. Thank you so much for all the love in the chat. Really, really appreciate that. Yes, thank you so much. I'll just spend some time uh, watching and listening again. I just had things I had to get done in that time frame. Yeah, you, yeah. Anna. Just go back and watch the replay for sure. I will. I will. Amazing. Like people is what I want to attract. Yes, absolutely, Ruby. Most definitely. Well, we guys, we got a gift. Let's uh, for those called. Let's pay it forward. And um, it's pretty small at twenty two thousand five hundred or wherever. We <laughs> I we think we can do better. Of, we haven't made a dent yet. No, there's definitely a lot not. Of, there's a lot of future ear shredders out there. Definitely. All right, guys. Have a good night. Thanks, for being on. Thank you all. Thank you so much. It was excellent. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.